We'll be back to another video. We are new here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So today's video, as you can see, I got the Mama Whiskey back in the shop. If y'all watched my previous video, y'all will know I see notched it. Something I didn't show you in that video was how the drop skid or how the drop ended up looking like. So I'm gonna show y'all that right now. So in the front is barely tucking. And in the back, you can go ahead and compare it from the last video. Sits pretty low in the back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying to fix this camber in the front. It has a lot of camber. And that's on both sides. So we're gonna try to fix that. And in the back, I'll be adding a lift spring to it. So this is what I'm gonna be using to try and fix the camera in the front. I got both of them off of eBay for 15 bucks. You're gonna see if they work. But before we get started, I go ahead and leave a comment down below what you think. So we're gonna start right here in the front. I'm gonna start by Taking out the wheel. So this is the thing I'm gonna be replacing. As you can see, I have it turned to the max I can go. Hopefully, by adding these, it'll make a difference. Remove this, you gotta take out this bolt that goes across from here, and this should just be able to pry off. be much but hopefully it works so let's go ahead and throw this one on to adjust it was hit it with a with a screwdriver and a hammer since I didn't have a big enough socket it messed it up a little bit but I think it should work like that so I put this half back together and we gotta move to the other side so before I put the tire back on or the wheel back on I'm gonna go ahead and clean it with some brake cleaner. That way I can go ahead and paint it. Because as you can see, it's getting rusty. I don't think you can see it through the rim, but uh, just in case you can. Did a pretty good 
good job of taking the, the overspray off. Whatever is left, the brake pad should eat it up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this bolt. This bolt right here. And I'm gonna start putting the tire back on. I need to adjust it once I do the other side. But them little things for 15 bucks, I could say they work. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other side. It's time to start on the back. Probably not a good idea to lift it up. <laughs> So this is the drop kit I'm running on the back. Two two inch blocks. And as you can see, my shock mounting bracket bent. I knew this was gonna happen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it off and re-weld it or make it out of some thicker angle. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the shock then the U-bolt so I can take off this overload. So there we go. I went ahead and removed the overload from both sides. Now I'm gonna go ahead and work on the shock mounts. The seals on my rear differential, they're bad. So stay tuned for another video. I'm gonna be replacing the seals. So this is how the mounts ended up looking like. I didn't show you because I want to keep this video short, but now it's time to throw them on. So time for some time lapse. So here in the front, I'm just gonna need an alignment with the suspension work. 
pretty much done. Also here in the back, after removing that overdose leaf spring, it did lift up a little bit, but not much. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you made it this far, might as well like it.